Today is a special message uh, has to do with this car. Uh, some of you already know what this is. My great-grandmother gave this to me, and it's actually a cologne bottle. And when I open it, I can smell my great-grandfather. Uh, this, this cologne bottle reminds me of a passage of Scripture. Now when Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came up to him with an alabaster flask of very expensive ointment, and she poured it on his head as he reclined at table. And when the disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, Why this waste? For this could have been sold for a large sum and given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? For she has done a beautiful thing to me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. In pouring this ointment on my body, she's done it to prepare me for burial. Truly I say to you, wherever this gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will always be told in memory of her. Her act of kindness to Jesus has been remembered to this very moment. You know, the kindness that we give to others, it becomes an ointment, a fragrance that we leave in our wake. Uh, I'm reminded uh, of this in, uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. But thanks be to God who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession and through us spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of Him everywhere. For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To one, a fragrance from death to death. To the other, a fragrance of life to life. Who is sufficient for these things? It's amazing what a fragrance can do. When I smell this, I smell the life of my great-grandfather. I'm reminded of his life. I'm reminded of uh, of amazing things that flood into my mind just from that aroma. Are you willing to be a pleasing aroma to others? Will you be kind? <gasps> Giddy! Look at you, student. You did this week. 